Imagine stepping into an ancient cavern, dark, damp, and echoing with distant drips of water, only to lock eyes with a creature so colossal it could make a modern grizzly look like a teddy bear. Impossible? Think again. Because once upon a time, during the Pleistocene era, cave bears, or Ursus Spileus, ruled these very chambers, and yes, they were as awe-inspiring as they were intimidating. But how did these bears coexist with our ancient human ancestors? And more importantly, what led to their mysterious disappearance? Buckle up, because today's journey will fling us back into the Ice Age to explore one of Earth's greatest vanished titans. Ready to dig deeper? Let's dive in. First, let's set the stage. We're talking about the late Pleistocene, roughly 300,000 to 25,000 years ago, when massive predators roamed across Europe. Among them was the Ursus Spileus, commonly called the European Cave Bear, a behemoth that could weigh over 1,000 pounds, sometimes up to 1,300 pounds by some estimates. To put that into perspective, that's heavier than most modern polar bears. If you've ever tried chasing off a nosy raccoon from your campsite, imagine a situation where the raccoon in question can crush logs with its jaws. Best to run, or better yet, avoid the campsite altogether. Now not only could a fully grown cave bear tip the scales at over 1,000 pounds, but some could stand more than 5 feet tall at the shoulder, easily reaching 8 to 10 feet in length when on all fours. Imagine encountering that towering mass of muscle and fur in a narrow cave passage. Now why do we even know about these creatures in such detail? Paleontological digs have uncovered entire bone caches in caves, and early scientific writings, dating back to the 16th century, describe strange giant bones discovered in remote caverns. Some early naturalists thought they'd stumbled upon dragon skeletons until better understanding of bear anatomy emerged. So we don't have historical records of cave bears from antiquity, but we do have centuries-old accounts of baffled explorers who encountered their colossal remains. But were cave bears really ferocious? Or were they gentle giants lulled by long hibernations and an appetite for plants? Let's see what the evidence tells us. To understand these Ice Age titans, we need to step inside their homes. Cave bears often sheltered in large communal dens, deep inside caverns. Fossils show groupings of bones, proof that multiple bears shared the same hibernation sites, returning year after year. But here's a twist. Despite their intimidating size, chemical analyses of their bones indicate cave bears were largely herbivorous, specializing in plant-based diets with the occasional high-protein snack. So, were they walking teddy bears or strategic omnivores who could turn fierce if threatened? One key to answering that lies in the conflict or coexistence between cave bears and early humans. Could these humongous vegetarians have had a secret carnivorous streak? Or was their presence in human-occupied caves more complicated than just searching for salad greens? Let's keep digging. During the height of cave bear reign, Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens were also establishing themselves in Europe. Archaeological evidence reveals that both humans and bears sometimes sheltered in the same caves, likely at different times of the year. But conflicts inevitably arose. Consider that Europe's climate during the Ice Age was harsh. Warm, cozy caves were prime real estate, a matter of literal life or death. Humans needed shelter from cold spells and so did cave bears during hibernation. Their overlapping needs led to tense standoffs for cave occupancy. It's like two families showing up to the same beach house for spring break except one family weighs a collective two tons and can shred your face with one swipe. Talk about an awkward Airbnb moment. Archaeological digs at sites like Chauvet Cave in France display not only cave paintings but also fossil evidence of repeated bear habitation. Some experts theorize that early humans possibly hunted or even worshipped these giant bears. These weren't direct historical records of living cave bears, but clues left in art and in how bones were arranged or sometimes adorned with marks that suggest ritual significance. Loving these prehistoric revelations. If you're finding this journey into the Ice Age enlightening, tap that like button. Your support helps other curious minds find this content, and it tells me you want more deep dives into ancient worlds.
So how did these colossal bears vanish by around 24,000 years ago? Let's examine the main culprits, climate change and human pressures. As the Ice Age began its slow thaw, ecosystems across Europe changed drastically. Plant life that cave bears depended on shifted or disappeared. And while cave bears were hefty enough to endure many hardships, a reduced food supply can topple even the mightiest giant. Think about it. If a 1,000-pound herbivore can't get enough high-quality vegetation, it's game over sooner or later. But was changing climate alone enough to wipe them out? Or did another factor land the final blow? Enter Homo sapiens. Humans are resourceful, adaptable, and sometimes ruthless when survival is on the line. The best caves for hibernation also made the best shelters for humans, leading to increased confrontation. Overhunting may have also accelerated their decline. We have evidence of bones with cut marks indicative of butchery. Could we blame early humans who simply saw a walking fur coat and a year's worth of protein? Or were cave bears already on a downward spiral from climate challenges? Let's keep exploring. Believe it or not, there's a twist. Some experts argue that religious or spiritual practices around cave bears might have led to targeted hunting beyond just survival. Ready to hear more? Let's roll on. Over the years, multiple theories have surfaced, each shedding new light on these bears' fate. Let's break down a few more that often get overlooked in the mainstream narrative. We've touched on it before. Many cave bears seem to have specialized diets. Some isotopic studies of cave bear bones suggest an almost purely vegetarian menu, particularly on high-protein plants like legumes or certain types of roots. When climates shifted, that specialized menu may have vanished, leaving them with fewer meal options. It's kind of like being the world's biggest salad eater right before all the salad bars close. Could that alone push a species over the edge? Possibly. As human populations grew and spread out, they likely took over more cave shelters. Studies show that many cave bear fossils overlap chronologically, with an uptick in human artifacts found in the same layers. Could it be that once humans had better hunting tools, like improved stone-tipped spears, cave bears became increasingly vulnerable? There's only so long you can keep the peace when you're both vying for the same condo in a treacherous Ice Age environment. In certain sites, bones of cave bears were deliberately arranged suggesting early humans possibly held ritual practices or ceremonies involving these giant beasts. Some cultural anecdotes imply that parts of Europe revered the bear as a totemic animal, both feared and respected. If these were ritual hunts, it might have increased the kill rate beyond mere necessity. Could spiritual reverence ironically hasten a species' extinction? It's a puzzling paradox, venerating the animal while also hunting it. Another angle is genetic bottlenecks. A combination of habitat fragmentation and inbreeding could have weakened populations, making them more susceptible to diseases or environmental pressures. While this theory is less flashy than dramatic hunts or climate chaos, it's a critical piece of the puzzle. So, which factor sealed the cave bear's fate, a single knockout punch or a death by a thousand cuts? Let's see if we can synthesize these ideas. If you're enjoying this trek through prehistoric history, Help the channel grow by subscribing for more deep dives, because together we're unraveling our planet's ancient secrets one giant discovery at a time. Piecing together the puzzle, we see a complex interplay of factors. Climate change dried up the once lush Ice Age landscapes that cave bears relied on. Humans, armed with evolving strategies and weapons, pressured the remaining populations. And underlying it all might have been genetic bottlenecks or ritualistic hunting practices that nudged their fate. The result? By roughly 24,000 years ago, the magnificent cave bear was gone. But is their story purely one of tragedy or a lesson we can apply to the present? Because if a species as mighty as the cave bear can be toppled by environmental shifts and human expansion, what does that say about the vulnerable wildlife we share the planet with today? If this journey into the Ice Age resonated with you, show your appreciation by tapping that like button. Your support signals that we should keep uncovering more intriguing tales from our planet's distant past. And don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comments. What's your theory on how the cave bears truly met their end? Let's spark a lively discussion. 
By the way, if you love hearing about bygone megafauna, you won't want to miss my next deep dive, the extinction of the American lion. Were these huge cats felled by the same forces that doomed the cave bears, or is there a surprising twist to their story? Tap the link to explore another prehistoric mystery. Thank you for watching, and as always remember, even the mightiest can fall. The lesson? We hold the power to shape the fate of wildlife around us, today more than ever. Until next time, stay curious, stay compassionate, and I'll catch you on our next expedition back in time.